Hello, friends and brothers. <laughs> this is Justin with Masonic Improvement, and I am joined, as usual, by this guy. What's your name? The Sage of South Texas, the Guru of Goliad, no. Dennis Yates. <laughs> right, so, worshipful sir. That would be right, worshipful Dennis Yates. We're we're in. We're doing uh, right now. We're in the middle of of uh, officer leadership training, and just so that you brothers know, we're pushing for more um, civilized Freemasonry. So we're trying to get back to using, <laughs> yeah, why am I in here? So we're trying to get back to using our surname. So Brother Jones mm -hmm. and Brother Yates are actually right worshipful Brother Yates. And uh, that's one of the things that we're talking about in, in officer leadership training is that we are the, the, the leaders of the fraternity and we, we should present ourselves as such and remember that the more we speak to each other like that, the uh, the more we, we remember how we should be uh, thinking and acting at all times on behalf of the fraternity. Absolutely. So talking about officer leadership training, um, really just want to emphasize what a great day this has been with some wonderful workshops. It has. It has been uh, very enlightening, even for uh, Right Rochefort Ro 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 Gates, who knows everything about Freemasonry there is to know. He... Uh, <laughs> He still uh, picked up most a people. There. Most people have already forgotten more than I'll ever know. So you know, don't let's not go there today. Let's, my my head is big enough. We don't need to act like you know I know more than I do. Yeah. So to short but, and sweet. But the good thing is we we have had people very happy. We've had some great food. Yeah, great better, food. Better food than we've ever had before that I know of. Since in golly, how many years is it? It's been several years that I've been coming to these things, and mm. and this has been some hands down awesome food. And then everybody's been happy so far with the presentations. They even liked it when, when my junior co-host here uh, blabbered on about mentorship and sure. and that was <laughs> yeah. no, it was real good. And and so far in every class that I've that I've seen with every presenter, uh, we've had applause and and people are excited about what's going on in Texas Freemasonry. And, uh, and we're doing just real good things here. And, and I'm really excited to see all these leaders uh, really leveling up and taking it to the next level. I have never heard an applause like I did until Dennis Gates said he was done with his presentation. And, <laughs> and people were crying, they were so happy with what they heard. <laughs> yeah, the tissues came out, that's a fact. That's a fact. But the point to take from this video is that there was great value to be had today. And if you haven't signed up for the upcoming OLTs, you need to correct that. Every officer in your lodge should be looking at OLT and making every, plans to attend one. Every Mason in, the, in your lodge. You know, if you're a Master Mason, you don't have to wait to become an officer to start doing this. Because, like I said, I've been coming here for years now. And the first time I came, I got hooked. and Because there's so much information. You know, it's... It, as they say at the very beginning, it's it's like drinking from a from a fire hydrant, and there's so much information you only retain so much, so you keep coming back and keep coming back, and finally someday you can actually uh, be worshipful master and and conduct a, a pretty decent lodge meeting. Good job, Dennis. Was worshipful? Did you want to add anything? Guess what, guys. Y'all didn't know y'all didn't know that he was here. He's he's lurking in the backgrounds watching everything that we do to make mm -hmm. sure, you know. I tell you guys that I get slapped in the back of the head quite often. And, <laughs> and I can assure you that that's happening today with most worshipful Brad Billings. We're so Don't happy. Worry. I only heard about eight things that were wrong in the <laughs> presentation. So. Uh, no, guys, come out to the OLTs. If you haven't done it in the past, uh, it's absolutely something that you'll, you'll learn something from. I still learn when I come to these things, so I hope you will take advantage of that and come out as well. Um, always great presenters. Uh, even if you have taken it in the past, but you haven't taken it in three or four years, it's a lot of stuff's changed, especially post COVID. Yes. So yes. come back out, learn some stuff with us. I'm going to be, I plan to be at all of the OLTs this year. Uh, and so I'll be hanging out come meet me. And uh, I probably already met you, but if I haven't <laughs> come hang out with us, uh, come learn about more about Freemasonry and let's make this fraternity stronger. Absolutely. How about that? Absolutely. That all for Texas Freemasonry. That's right. Yeah. That's thank, right. thank you so much. Most worshipful and, and brothers, if you're looking for good fellowship, good education, good food, good fraternity, you know, this is where it's at. 
This is Texas Freemasonry at its best. Hey, I thought the wor most worshipful was supposed to be the last person to talk. You know, I, I just can't let that happen. I am not so on, disappointed not on, with not this on district my watch. right now. Not on my wow. watch. I'm going <laughs> to... Give me your best. Give me your best. <laughs> I know. I know. You notice I don't have a tie. He's <laughs> He doesn't allow me to wear, wear my tie right. because I'm in trouble. But no, we're... Uh, we're actually kind of, it's business casual this year in doing the trainings. We do dress up for uh, for our Saturday night feast, which we will be doing here in just a few minutes. Yep. Oh. See y'all next time. Festive board. Take care. Yep. Keep it between the points.